So just to have this on, say, on uh, the record for uh, the your recording, I'm sorry everyone, I'm starting about an hour late. I finally figured out how to get multiplayer to work for the emulator. So now that, if anyone wants, I'm going to try to attempt to get like some time every week to get weekly games going. In case anyone would, would like to join us, I think it would take up to eight people, but I'm not sure how land play exactly works yet for a lot of it. Anywho, let's go get going and let's get ending two done today, and hopefully ending three as well. Commence mission. Destroy all line arc defense units. A league next! Damn it, not now. Confirmed. Half the targets have been destroyed. Damn! Are we doing any damage? Primal armor! First, we have to break down that primal armor. Only a few targets remaining. Our standard weapons are useless. Where are our normals? Yep. We've confirmed all targets Thank you very destroyed. Yep. Thank also, guys, th uh, Hale here is the person who helped me get it going. So thank you very much, uh, Hale. I was just telling everyone that that I've got the armor core for answer online PvP working now. Uh, 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 L to the brakes, the person who figured out what the uh, probable issue was. So, we can now thank him if we if we ever stream online games with it. Commence mission. Eliminate all enemy defense units. An unidentified craft has infiltrated the facility. It is believed to be an enemy next. So I'm thinking once we finish this, so once we finish uh, the second ending on this, might change to a tank for the for the entire third run. It does seem like I'm gonna have to get a new controller, unfortunately. I have a like shit five like five dollar controller. And the triggers unfortunately don't offer what I would need to get the second stage going. And hey there Waif, how is how is your day uh, going today? Hope you're having a great Commence Saturday. Mission. Eradicate the enemy fleet and enemy arms fort. Well, I killed one, but not not the one that I was aiming at. With a funnel shield, don't waste ordnance on that shield. Maneuver behind it and strike the rear hull. This does the laser do what I need for this? The answer is no. Confirmed. Yep, doing great. Uh, by the way, are you? Sorry, are you joining Time Buster on that on that new like uh, that new gotcha game that he's playing? Only a few targets remaining. Curious how many people are actually joining him on that. Arms Fort Gigabase identified. It may be a relic, but it's still an arms fort. Don't 
I took that straight to the face. Thanks, Wraith. Mission Appreciate complete. it. Well, that's it. You've passed. Nothing more to say. Yeah, can't wait till I actually get the shit on Mach. I think I know what I want to do quickly to attempt to fix the uh, boost situation. I think I was thinking about it wrong. I believe I changed to Judith before I stopped, but that's not the answer. Hey Singer, how's it going? I didn't realize you couldn't type. You can, yes. Oh, I do have the whole guy going, but don't believe I want the Judas. By the way, tuning, uh... Oh no, that's why, I don't have the, I don't have any points left, that's why it's like that, right? Oh, perfect, it's exactly enough points. Well, burgers are good. Uh, yes it does, Tiberius. Uh, yes it does. For, for, yep, for every single game that'll work. The problem is a lot of heavier parts and a lot of faster parts all have like higher energy drain. It's kind of weird how it works, but especially in this game, uh, definitely more like often uh, than not, the heavier parts have uh, have on average just a just a higher energy drain. I guess to offset the stats, they don't want them going as fast, which makes sense. This area looks clear. Head elsewhere. Time is of the essence. 
don't know how I missed that. I mean, the fact that I'm using a high laser weapon also doesn't necessarily help. How are you still alive, sir? I missed someone somewhere. That is fantastic. Confirmed. All targets destroyed. Mission complete. Actually, isn't isn't a stig also the term for a crash test dummy? He's. I'm pretty sure stig is the term for a crash test dummy. Well, time to get time to have fun hitting none of none of these planes because none of these these weapons can actually hit them. Yeah, the just the yeah the overcompensation for firing heavy weapons. Just and the missiles are too slow because they're missiles. So let's just get our way through here and fight what we have to at the end. I fucked it up. Oh well. So used to doing that in one go using the freaking speedrun setup that I, that I honestly forgot how how annoying it is to actually shoot those guys. Especially considering the moving hitbox. Like, that's so annoying that the hitbox slides across their body. Like, please, just target the center mass of the freaking plane. No one needs to lock on to the wing or tail of the plane. Elden Ring Skyrim? Confirmed. All targets destroyed. Mission complete. Do Mother Will because Cabergon takes a while. Unless I want to set up the full, just the full missile carnival, and I kind of don't. Destroy the BFF arms fort, spirit of Mother Will. First, the VOB will let you quickly close in on the target. This is real high speed combat. You'll need 100% focus. 
Though I will say, the relation missiles in this game are surprisingly not as good as the other games. Like the other games, you could actually get a significant amount out of them. The only one that gets like decent damage is the, the Musking Gumo, but you're forced to fire like 64 at once, which can easily get you killed. What do you mean by when they see Mother Will flip off? You mean, I mean, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Mother Will glitch kill? Oh, yeah. There's still so many things that, but though, Singer, that, that's the part of it. The game is so obscure that like there are common tricks yet somehow even like like even though it's technically common 90% of the people playing it don't actually know about it Ken Singer. The problem is that is that it heavily rec is that it heavily relies on your controller. Sadly, I've got I have a really shit one, but I can at least show you. I can do it if I give me a second. See, there it is. I'm just not consistent. Because mine's just really shit, and 90% of the stick doesn't do anything. Yeah, honestly, Singer, it's unfortunately the controller I've got. Like, as I said, you kind of need the full range of range of motion for the, sorry, for the actual trigger, and I just don't have it. The first 70% is just dead zone. Destroy all enemy arms fort units. Virtual defense line is displayed on your radar. Enemy units crossing that line will have a firing solution on the transports. That equals mission failure for us. We don't want that to happen. Hold the line. I love how they say that as if there's there's like more than two of them. Honestly, I miss the verdict day online things like that. Yeah, we've yeah, it's very unfortunate that the special sorties were taken down. Uh Tiberius, I don't have Bluetooth. Uh, you know what? I didn't have Bluetooth on my prior computer. Does this one have Bluetooth? Do I have Bluetooth on this? I do actually have Bluetooth. I can do it. I need to get that set up. Take out the enemy defenses and destroy the resources. Yeah, my prior one, I think my prior computer was before Bluetooth existed or something. Aha. It's Barat's one. Uh I didn't have a cable on the PS4 controllers. Resource plan destroyed. Two more to go.
The fact that those missiles stun. Mission complete. Yeah, Tiberius, it, 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 it really does that. And, okay, so the reason is that Windows PC, Windows is the Xbox company. They're going to make all that shit show up as an Xbox controller. Stigro fucking died. You're a real pro now. I still don't understand this boss. Like, I don't know who designed this and why. But someone designed it. You know, this setup may not be good for this. Commence mission. Protect Megalus and eliminate all enemy units. Oh, I forgot I can do this, the right. The main force is Omer's aerial brigade. They'll make trouble if you give them the opportunity. This is the Megalus base commander. We're counting on you. Don't let us down. We can we can use the use the actual missile fact that missiles are missiles. I mean, it definitely could be. Steam messes up a lot of games. There are there are many games that actually have patches or 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 like a third-party mod to disable the Steam controller support because it fights for it over the built-in controller support in the game. I pressed the wrong fucking button. That sucks. Oh, well, it's dead. Confirmed. All targets Easy. destroyed. So that actually works a lot better than I expected because Agilis of because of these nice deer boards. Like, it's kind of weird. Missiles were great in 2, and again in 3 and Last Raven. Then they kind of fell off in 4. Commence mission. Destroy the unidentified next. Don't be intimidated. He may be a bit skilled, but he's just another Lynx like yourself. Who's Eon? Is it this time? Oh, fuck you. Fine, take it. I was getting tired of arms force. Security forever. <laughs> what I deserve for not taking this more seriously. Confirmed. Unidentified next destroyed. Mission complete. It looks like you're improving out there.
Honestly, getting excited for the uh, for the tank run next run. All right, I actually get to fight out Starva instead of just killing him within Swine two seconds. Politicians with all their empty calls to arms in the name of liberty. I'll sink the whole lot of to the bottom of the ocean. Commence mission. Cooperate with White Clint and eliminate the big nexts. We've detected two enemy nexts. Stasis and Fragile. Stasis? It's on Starva, the rank one Lynx. The League isn't holding back. White Clint operator Fiona Jarnefeld here. I appreciate the assistance. Good luck to both of us. Are you lost out there or something? health bars. Dude, can you please say your cutscene so I can Jericho? Got him at just just the right time before he spoke. Confirmed. A binary counter. That is odd. Mission complete. In the end, only I just hate Fragile's RNG timer on his freaking invincibility frames. Just a brief moment of relief. Honestly, Fragile's my only issue with it, with this game. Fellow Lynx. Because Allow of the invincibility timer. Thank you. However, this might mean the end of Line Arc. Commence mission. The target is a good distance above your position. Start climbing. You know what you're doing, what it will mean, don't you? Like, I kind of like what they did with this mission. I just wish these were on the far side. Hey, Grossimian, how is it going, sir? Also, uh, before, uh, before I forget, someone on YouTube mentioned that they liked uh, the green screen I got. So just to show you guys, I didn't get a green screen. Uh, I just found, found a way to filter the background out because there's a white wall behind me, as well as I, sorry, I'm mostly wearing dark colors. Like if I turn it off, hold on, I think I can turn it off. Yeah, so... If I turn it off, you can see there's no green screen behind me. I just figured out a very nice filter to go by color to just get all of that lighter shit out. I don't really think it's a secret singer. Someone just asked. I just wanted to let them know I don't have a green screen. How is secret? What do you mean a secret singer? Secret to what? It's been four days! And basically, Tiberius, yes. Singer, I'm pretty sure anything that's like a 1070 or newer can Commence do it. Commence mission. Destroy the silent avalanche force defending Sphere. I know you don't have a camera. You know, I may want to tr actually I don't I don't know if I if I need that. 
I should definitely look into it, though. I think when I looked into it, it just made me very quiet. Ah, uh, noisy areas. Yep, makes sense. I'm thankfully in the situation where I'm not in a noisy area. Uh, by the way, uh, gr uh, gr I didn't realize, uh, y uh, you work out. I've actually wanted to get back to doing that, but I'm just very freaking lazy. I also love this this guy's name, Buffa Zugan. No clue what the hell any of that means. Commence mission. Your target is Megalus, the lifeline of Linearch. Your VOB will allow you to quickly close in on Megalus. I believe this is the height I want. As a as a heavyweight, it's quite annoying, but at, but at least it, at least it's better than than the glitch. If you go too fast, that immediately kills you. VOB nearly depleted. What do you what do you mean, Flunkord? If you mean the part about getting instantly killed, yeah, so, so, if you go too fast, you can get past them before the balls fire, and then as soon as this VUB ends, they all just come up and just smack you in the back and you die. Like, like here, they were just all just smacking me in the back and I die with nothing I can do about it. So it's not really a glitch, I think it's just they don't intend for you to be that fast on it. Perfect. Got it just in time to get, to get the whole top peeled off. This is the end for and yes, Flunkhorg, that's exactly what was happening as if that's what was happening to you. You, you were going Skill too fast. Work. So what you're saying is it's not necessarily too fast. It is going too fast, but also not fast enough. You can go so much faster that that doesn't happen. It's weird. There's like just certain speed range where you just die. Not just quickly change FCS because I do not want to do 8th Fleet. Well, let's go let's go bring our friend right in. Everyone loves Raiden. in. Commence mission. Eliminate the pair of enemy nexts. This fog is thick. They've also deployed ECM. Smells like an ambush. Keep your what fine sheep you are. Coming straight to the wolf. And he's now out of energy. <laughs> means he dies. Honestly, the freaking intri ju just the entire trick to playing on this map is using a longer range FCX. This you. What kind of joke is this? 
Oh, he has he has a giant grenade cannon, and then these t and then these actual grenade arms, which makes no sense that the grenade arms are the shortest of all weapon arms. Oh, there was there was apparently a cat in the room. So we've done it. <laughs> these undisciplined links have the gall to face right. Okay, yes, my brother's cat is very fat. So, to explain why I used a, a like longer range FCS, while this mission says it has ECM, it is not ECM. What it does is that it takes, takes about 400 to 600 straight off of your freaking lock distance. So if I was, so this one goes from like, 1100 to like seven to 600 while this goes to like 200 and then you can't lock on to anything no it's not even no, it's not even ecm because all ecm does in this game is fuck up your radar but your radar besides being fucked up it also and it's only this map and i don't believe it even works on multiplayer just this map on p on every on all four instances of it which are the two on normal and two on hard just cripple your lock distance but if you have anything like this that's longer as you saw it immediately is easy because the other guys also have a crippled lock distance and uh yeah it just takes away all of their advantage which is great for us to be honest once you once you figure it out, it actually makes it like so much easier. Uh, Falunkorg, that is literally Armored Core one through Last Raven. That's how ECM works. Legitimately, Armored Core one through Last Raven ECM you can't lock on. So that's actually how you cheese one of the missile dodging missions in three by using ECM decoys and then they can't fire. So what I should be doing is clearing the cannons around the top, but I don't believe I am. I'm going to ignore all of that entirely, but these normals are dying. That should make things go more smoothly. Oh, you're 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 the bulky guys. Yeah, that's all these guys I need to kill. Oh, there's one. Heavy ass weapons. Now, I'm not even gonna bother wasting they one, they don't really hurt, and I'm not gonna bother wasting the ammo. We're just gonna wait for him. Okay, so guys, once we finish uh, the uh, the current run we are going to be building a tank anyone have any weapon requests to go on the tank whether it's for some reason you want to spread bazooka sniper cannon rail gun whatever you want just let me know what you what you guys want on this tank and please don't just say dozer tank I'd really not play, I don't want to play with the dozer tank. What do you mean by the biggest fucker I can fit? Because if you mean the giant dual back riding grenade, it is shit, but I will use it if you guys want it. Okay, spread bazooka it is.
I mean, here's the thing. Tanks can fit anything in inside their hangar. So in theory, I could have two, sorry, two grenades on the back, two grenades on my arm, and then two more grenades inside the hangar and just blow everything up. It's just all about weight management. I mean, I may be able to make that work. I could definitely fit between explosion, shell, and lasers. Also, I love how n how now that I've got a better graphics card, we can see that this is actually a spinning turbine. I was always pretty sure that it spun, but I couldn't tell. So, flunk cord. So, Kojima cannons are actually not good on a tank because any random stun can actually blow it up. Yeah, you, you can actually see it now as I'm fighting that that's actually a spinning turbine. That's great. Got nuked. Confirmed. The blessed leash has been destroyed. Uh, Mission Dr. Giro, there is there is actually a really nice tank away. leg in Armored Core no 2 that this tank that. leg actually has multiple fins that pop out and like extra rockets come out for the overboost. So I love like love using it on say on a a uh, sorry on a uh, a a like limit release focused tank because then you just have these jets open everywhere on this tank. The tank is going faster than a half the mechs in Armored Core for answer, and you just play as a missile boat or basically a missile jet at that point, and just fly over destroying everything as you go. You know, I'm curious how well this is going to work for Answerer. Because I have three ways I usually kill it. Because there's like multiple ways to kill it. Not just damage, Defense not just mission. X, not just Y. Protect the anti-satellite batteries while taking out the main enemy force. But I'm, I can't necessarily do that with this. No, so it, it's not that it's hard, it's that I'm slow. All of the ways I normally do it involve speed. Okay, Ambient, where are you? Ma'am, you do know you have zero energy, right? Like, your ECM doesn't bother me as long as I don't get too close, which you don't even attempt to do. And now Wong Shaolong leaves. Forgive me, my master. Lilium has betrayed your trust. Enemy next ambient has been destroyed. <sighs> this was the best I could do. You best turn tail and run, Wong Shaolong. The battlefield is not a place for scheming old men. Mission complete. You're supposed to leave. Why are you going up? Oh, because he was in the water. It broke his pathing. You know what? Actually, I just realized just because I'm going heavy doesn't mean I have to do heavy biped or heavy tank. There is also Biff. builds for being a a like heavy, sorry, heavy uh, reverse joint, as well as being a heavy uh, a like heavy quad as well. Uh, yeah, so you don't have to kill Wang Xiaolong for that mission ever. I'm not even sure why he's necessarily there. 
destroy the arms fort answerer. They must be using a massive amount of energy to keep this thing afloat. Start your attack run now. Hit it wherever you can. Destroy the outer shell. It won't hold up too long. We can bring this thing back down to Earth. I fucked up. I was just quickly testing something, and the answer is no, it doesn't work. While this is a three second trick to work using different weapons, I don't have the weapons I need for it. Oh, it, oh, this thing has, has assault armor for some stupid reason. But yes, death. Yep, Scott, thank you. Yep, and, yep, and have a great day, sir. Start your attack run now. Hit it wherever you can. Destroy the outer shell. It won't hold up too long. We can bring this thing back down to Earth. I suck at this. I'm not entire like like all of my usual strategies don't work now. So I'm not sure how to attack this because normally what I do is I cut off the arms. I just one shot it from in the middle from that proper angle to get like nine thousand blade hits. Or, uh, or if you break a certain number of parts, it dies. So all of those hanging needles, if you just nuke them off really quick, the whole mission ends in like five seconds. But none of those are viable for this. I'm pretty sure that damage flat out doesn't work. They must be using a massive amount of energy to keep this thing afloat. I believe that the that the actual wings just take bonus damage from cut and fall off. But I actually have like a stupid health pool. No, so, no, so, that's the point. The blades cheese it. There, there, there's like nine ways to kill it. Singer, I was just pelting it. Uh, yes, I can. Uh, Singer, I can guarantee you, if you want me to pull out rockets, I can show you exactly just that. I can fire three rockets, blowing off the needles, and it dies because it hits the part. Sorry, uh, because it hits the you've killed it um, enough objects part. You can deal like 10,000 blade damage and the wings fall off, but like 300,000 explosive and it doesn't. And if you break every wing except once, it sinks and dies. And then for the other part of it, there's there's certain spots where if you if you hit it hard enough, it clips like nine spots and just overloads it. Well, yeah, but that hitting it part is based on using a certain part with blades. Well, yes, in theory, yes. Also, there is in fact a damage number.
amazing the different ways that it works. But yeah, just to just to also show you because I can. Uh, hold on, let me just save this. Let's just take everything off of it. Uh, we're gonna purchase the uh, triple rockets. Oh, perfect, we already own them. And screw it, we'll, we'll do it well, we'll do it hard mode. Commence mission. Destroy the arms fort answerer. Yeah, so please note, I'm pretty sure that everyone's bladed the wings and see the wings instantly die. That is way more damage there than any blades will do. Yeah, look, I can just pelt rockets at it. It's gonna last... It's not gonna work. Like, if it does, it'll take a lot. So, just so everyone knows, this is... This is already easily, like... Like, a freaking million plus damage there. And it didn't die. Because it's actually meant to not die from damage, except the few spots to blade or pile drive when you're, like, chunked into those corners are hitting, like, 18 hitboxes. Destroy the arms for an answer. But now that with all of that, instead, if we go for the part break limit, which is the spots that are that are basically down here. And it and it just dies. See, you can do that. Hit the hit that magic part break limit and it dies. But if you hit the base body with even 3 million fucking damage, it just lives. Amazing how certain bosses have different ways to kill it. Yeah, even more FRS memory. Good, good. Did my stream die? Doesn't look like it died. Ah, god damn it. Target the two next. Rider I blame Spineless. shitty internet. You've chosen your answer. Our guests have arrived, Wendy. Right on schedule. You don't hesitate to kill the humanity, do you? Then lay down your own life, like the Oh, Roy died. That was a horrible time to overboost. I'm sorry. I wasn't much help. <laughs> Roy Salon, the good guy, it doesn't suit you. My bliss has been destroyed. Oh, well, she she's also dead. That was surprisingly simple. You are the sole remaining Orca member. By the way, is it? Uh, sorry, it, uh, is it the still down? Alive. Is that something to laugh at? Everything is twisted. You, this world, all of it. Orca took control of. Cr Okay, well, we have this thing set up. Let's go for a... So, since you guys are here... Ah. Uh, well, that's fine. Yeah, so so basically, the first attempt at Answerer, I shot every single rocket into its top and it didn't die. Okay, so... For this run, would you guys want... I want... Uh, a, 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 a different heavy biped? A heavy quad? 
a tank or a heavy, uh, heavy uh, reverse joint. Because while while this guy's fun, I think we need something different now. Heavy reverse joint, it is. Okay, who wants to name this and paint it? Actually, this is much better. We're going to go with this arm. No good greens. There we go. Zero forty nine zero. This should work fine then. Not sure how far in the game we can get, but we'll probably at least Commence get to a. Uh... Destroy all line arc defense units. Elite next. Damn it! Not now.
All right, we were we were going to use a spread bazooka, weren't we? Spread bazooka on the left arm. I, I, I think I think our weight allows it. But we do also have the orca arena we have to finish to get ending three, so let's get, let's do that now with this. I'm not sure what 3D dot game heroes is actually. I've never actually heard of that. So far, the spread bazooka looks quite nice, actually. May get rid of the rockets on the back. There's got to be something better I can put than those. Rebizuka is actually quite nice. So whoever said that, good, great call. was like 10k with that nice What do you mean I'm live? I've been live. Did the thing crash again? What the hell stream elements?
Here we go, Gatling Cannon. I think we've got a decent back part going now. Should be a great combination with the uh, spread bazooka, actually. So here, so here is the situation, Flunkorg. Uh, the the sad situation is I don't know because while I would love to be given the option, the problem that I had with five is that I think five worked. Gr I, sorry, I think Verdict Day worked great for like how how you could swap regular handheld weapons around. The problem I didn't like is that if you had a biped on like using a cannon you couldn't drop the cannon to change without literally like losing it permanently i was fine with planting down it worked great it functioned great how it functioned the problem was that to change to like the left arm you were basically down an entire freaking arm side because you had to drop it like if they just fixed that but it worked like five did i'd be perfectly fine with that now, the odds of them doing that, I'm not sure, but I really hope they do. forget he has assault armor. Uh, so, 1.4, it's a really good closer, but you don't want to open with it. It's much better on 1.0. Okay, I'm getting better better use this. I need to not boost so much. I'm not I'm not lightweight, I'm boosting too much. <coughs> Sorry, I am quick boosting too much. I need to let the actual weapons do their job. Like this, I just need to let it do its job. The quick boosting was fucking it up.
Well, that's all. Uh, is that every, every order mission done? Nope, I need one more done. Luster 18 was skipped because he was dead. Well done. Did I get any more FRS memory from that? Okay, good. The energy cap out. Actually, I do want arm maneuverability. Well, I guess let's uh, do attack on B7. So I do think I spot one weakness is that both of my left arm weapons are the heavy ones. An unidentified craft has infiltrated the facility. It is believed to be an enemy next. All units assume battle ready formation. Singer, why do you keep redeeming name that Pokemon? This isn't a Pokemon. But if you want to name name this armored core, sure. But I can't offer you a Pokemon. Confirmed. All targets. John Reverse. Sure. Mission complete. Well, if we're calling him that, then we need to give him a give him a a proper paint job as well. I pressed AC test. So many ugly color palettes.
So, Singer, what's up with you and, like, all of the John jokes lately? I kind of do, yes. Commence mission. Destroy the Arms Ford Gigabase. It's being escorted by the 8th Fleet. Use the VOB to close in on Gigabase. Watch out for long range fire. This Arms Ford is a defensive stronghold. Don't underestimate its firepower. I dodged that picture game. Okay, I'm, I'm done trying that. This thing is too slow for that. Doing this with a, with a slow build is just awful. VOB nearly depleted. Prepare for normal battle maneuvers. Good, you're in close. Sink Gigabase as quickly as possible. Stop wasting time. Gigabase has been destroyed. Mission complete. I need a stronger side booster. I think I need a the higher for this. I'm not sure about that back left laser Commence cannon mission. now. Might work better to make it a grenade. The enemy fleet and enemy arms for it. Special edition normal detected. It's equipped with a funnel shield. Don't waste ordnance on that shield. Maneuver behind it and strike the rear hull. What's the range of the Kamal?
Defense mission. Destroy all enemies inside the combat zone. Time is limited. Move quickly. Honestly, I like I like the slug gun. I've never used it on something that wasn't a quad, and this is fantastic. Decent, like decent number of ammo. When I need something for something bigger, I have this. I have the uh, spur, uh, spur red bazooka and the Gatling cannon. Okay, yeah, I'm really starting to like heavies now that I've realized that you're I was using the quick boost like I was playing lightweight when I shouldn't have. So I might actually be able to do sphere properly now. Let's see. The answer is I can't. There we go, we got some down. VOB depleted. Purging. Destroy all remaining enemy units. Hang in there.
Right, I killed the ones in the front more than the back. It's gonna take forever for them to spawn. There's no way I killed enough planes. There they are. What do you mean by you by you almost got this mission, Singer? Oh, the last the last uh, thing, yes. Well, let's do let's do Copper Can. Commence mission. Destroy the arms for it, Copper Can. Powerful mines are scattered all over the combat zone. Stay alert. I, I need the arm weapon out. And that guy's inside the floor. I'm honestly not sure why this is a chapter mission, because, I don't know about you guys, but this is painfully easy. It's just can. tedious as hell. Don't go into the floor, you asshole. Get out of there. Singer, most missions fun. only need two rifles to complete. What do you? I don't understand your point. Give me one second. The emulator is starting to give out, so let me just restart it now while we're not in a spot where it could be a pain in the ass. Uh, Singer, doing that mission with, like, blades also isn't really that bad. It might actually be faster than what I just did. You have to be careful of just not going out of bounds. Singer, you can't hide from the truth. Commence mission. Destroy all enemy arms fort units. Virtual defense line is displayed on your radar. Enemy units crossing that line will have a firing solution on the transports. That equals mission failure for us. We don't 
guys are heavily energy resistant, so. Singer, I never said it wasn't dumb. I'm just saying that it's doable. Well, let's do Prakia. Commence mission. Eliminate all Prokeon energy cannons. And yes, it is. Uh, by the way, Rissick, are you still free tonight? Because now that you actually have your uh, have your internet, we can actually do the thing. Oh, also, by the way, Rissick, my favorite thing about this camera setup is that I don't have a green screen. I can just freaking get rid of all that shit. It's great. Well, uh, uh, Rissick, we can test it after I'm finished streaming if you're currently available uh, at that time. Commence mission. Destroy the uh, that's death. just... That's not even a program. That's just the graphics card. Don't be intimidated. He may be a bit skilled, but he's just another Lynx like yourself. Last peon is it this time. Perfect time. I was getting tired of arms for it. You got destroyed. Holy crap, I'm loving this. Uh, so, Rissick, here's the thing. It normally doesn't work as well, except though the main key point is that because I typically wear dark colors, the chair is dark, and most of what's currently behind me is just just a white wall. It works a lot better than it than it advertises that it does because I have a very unique situation. Like if I had like a dark painted wall or something, it doesn't work as well. Then you'd actually want a green screen or a program or something. Actually, Singer, I believe all of these are things you can have at this point. Commence mission. Take out the enemy defenses and destroy the resource plants. The clock's ticking. No time to waste. Aha. It's Barat Squadron. No wonder the defense units were targeted. Cunning rats. I mean, Singer, do you want me to do an Elias starter only run? Because, I mean, I'll do it.
The fact that those stun is stupid. Good, yes. Ally has got great PA defense and great speed for its weight. Okay, good test here. Can we kill Stigra without moving? Destroy the arms for Stigra. His charging attack isn't too complex, but it'll rip you in two if you get hit. So don't. Yes, yes we can. Mission complete. That bullet hole's floating. I mean, Zinger, not every build can do that, but most should be able to. Now, if you're if you're like really strictly a rifle only, I can see how like how a rifle and spread missile, sorry, rifle and scatter missile might like might have an issue. Hey, Wave, thanks for the hydrate. I yeah, appreciate it. That stretches well. I appreciate it. The whole lot of to the bottom of the ocean. Commence mission. Cooperate with White Knight and eliminate the League Nexts. We've detected two enemy Nexts. Stasis and Fragile. Fucking destroyed. I do have to change the thing on this guy. He's gonna be hard to hit. Energy flow is reversing Boom! From the AMS. Got him off screen <laughs> using the Kamal. I am I am satisfied with getting with with getting the Kamal off screen. To be honest, this is definitely a lot more effective than I was thinking. Like, I can just out-tank most of this shit. Like, I'm not gonna get an S rank, but... They're dead. Commence mission. The target is a good distance above your position. Start climbing. You know what you're doing. Alright, uh, by the way, Singer, I forget if I've ever actually shown it on stream. Except though... Did you know that there's actually a mission that if you go, sorry, go uh, to uh, too high, that the uh, the assault batteries start shooting at you? I'm honestly surprised that the online map didn't like didn't have that anywhere. What do you mean you don't Mission get it? Complete. I was saying, did you know that there's actually a mission that that if you if you start flying too high, the assault batteries in the atmosphere actually start shooting at you? Commence mission. Let's see how this does here. Yeah, you know, you know how the entire point of the second ending is that there is a is that the entire planet's covered in those satellite cannons, so that people can't check space. Smells like an ambush. Keep your guard up.
I will I will out shotgun you, Red Rum. Out, uh, sorry, out red rum and red rum. Hey, yeah, singer, I'll go, yep, I'll go, uh, go pop it on now. Yeah, so if you do defend Cradle 03, sorry, sorry, take back Cradle 21. I know why I thought it was 03, it's 21. Commence mission. So if you start flying too high on this map for some reason. Liliana insurgents. They're extremists, but they can only deploy normals. No match for a next. You should have little problem taking them out. An attack. There you go, see? It came from outside Cradle Airspace. What in the world is that? Just like Discovery. just like a neat thing it's that they have here. The edge of the combat zone. I just fucked up because I because I just cut off uh, the uh, the cutscene there, but it but there's like several more like more lines to that. But just neat tidbit they didn't have to include. Commence mission. Eradicate the unidentified arms fort. Information is spotty. Proceed with caution. Enemy arms fort identified. It's an upgraded land crab. This model has been reconfigured with Soldios cannons. That's the strongest kubwat. Segments are splitting off. Careful, the Soldios cannons are operating on top of Yay, chicken dance. Look at them feet go. Commence mission. Cool, Destroy we're three three missions away from a uh, from a uh, ending three. And I'm I'm honestly fairly confident about this one doing it. Like, I don't see a single reason why this one can't beat ending three. You're getting back here, sir. I ain't falling for this horse shit. Now we have attack our terrier car pulse. Uh, destroy the cradles and then occupation of our terrier car pulse. What's with the face singer? Commence mission. Seize control of the car pulse facility. And considering our build, we can definitely take out all of the shit this time. Before Noblesse Oblige reaches the combat zone, that should make things go more smoothly.
first cannons ever, I might add. Like, especially considering, like, like the, the cannons Big Box has. The fact that this is how shitty these are is amazing. How to put what without being too wrong. Well, we have only our two best weapons to kill, to kill, uh, no bless your liege with. I also love how you can dip your toes into the ground without landing. Enemy next detected. It's closing in fast. That's him. Obliterate no bless your liege. Sorry to crash the party. Little hit and run bandits like you know no honor. I envy your simple life, void of responsibility. I need to get close in on him now. And done. He is dead. You ain't going anywhere. the ceiling boundary is in this. Good, you came. How obedient of you. The cradles, all of them. Exciting, don't you think? So, and now, and now we know. 
A cradle can be taken down with a single spread bazooka. The entire cradle system. With five more rounds there left to spare. still so many more lives to take. Our journey is just beginning. I mean, you, you really think that they would make it... I don't know. Bit tankier, considering the, uh... Circumstances? <laughs> Lapdog. Well, Singer, now we, now we get to see how effective this is in a 4 vs 2. Please accept my apologies. That briefing you saw was manufactured. This is the end of the road for you. I think you understand why. Well, it is what it is. Your actions were clearly deliberate. There's no point in trying to reason with you. Maybe it's just an animal. Can it even understand what we're saying? Kind of yes, actually. Your right to choose who lives and dies. You kill too many. Now, I, now, important part is I have to find Rody. Rody's, Rody's the key here. There you are, Rody. This is not Rody. That is. Okay, easy clap. Honestly, I fucked up chasing Rody at the second part there. Rody got like, got like a 12 a 12 k arm shot off on me. One who will be the greatest monster mankind has ever seen. What singer? I got it first try. Any other in history? It just goes to show. I'm I'm not completely terrible. I mean, I guess for the rest of the stream today. I'll go get uh, I'll go get the last mission that we have to get then I'll s rank everything normal and uh, tomorrow we'll come through an s rank hard mode using a like I don't know like using a really fat tank yes it is it is singer I do in fact have to fight gotcha in briefing you saw was manufactured end of the road for you. I think you understand why. Well, it is what it is. See if I can get out Starver to Your chase me immediately back over it. over this wall again. That There's was no nice. Point in trying to reason with you. Maybe it's just an animal. Can it even understand what we're saying? You think you're some kind of one man army? You think it's your right? You kill too many.
Yep, he go he freaking nailed me twice with his goddamn bazooka arms. And yes, I know that there's cheese for this. I'm just not going to cheese it, at least on normal. Please accept my apologies. I should be able to S rank this with this build. Was manufactured. This is the end of the road for you. I think you understand why. Well, it is what it is. Your actions were clearly deliberate. There's no point in trying to reason with you. Maybe it's just an animal. Can it even understand what we're saying? Oh, did Ambient get stuck over the wall? Oh, no, there she is. Yeah, she got stuck over the wall. And Old King lived. Soon after, that should be an the blood S. of the innocents would rain down from the cradles, all at the hands of a single lynx. One who will be the greatest... Ah! Damn it! Let's go! <laughs> Give it one more try with this build. Then I'll just come back and do it with a different one later. This is definitely not entirely optimized. That was definitely within like a, within like Please 2,000 health for the S. That briefing you saw was manufactured. This is the end of the road for you. I think you understand why. Well, it is what it is. Your actions were clearly deliberate. There's no point in trying to reason with you. Maybe it's just an animal. Can it even understand what we're saying? There you go, Stubber, come on. Yeah, it's Starvis down. Sorry, friend. Oh, I shit, you died fast, man. More. Don't care, where the hell is Rhodey? I really horrible on ambient. Soon after. Ah, well, I'll come back for it later. Would rain down from the cradles, all at the hands of a single lynx. One who will be the greatest. Well, let's go.
go back through. Let's go get the final mission we need to get. Commence mission. Destroy all line arc defense units. Elite next. Damn it, not now. Confirmed. Half the targets have been destroyed. Damn! Are we doing any damage? Primal armor? First we have to break down that primal armor. Only a few targets remaining. Our standard weapons are useless! Where are our normals? We've confirmed all targets destroyed. Mission complete. Well done. Almost perfect. Mission. Eliminate all enemy defense units. An unidentified craft has infiltrated the facility. It is believed to be an enemy next. All units assume battle ready formation. Gets destroyed. Mission complete. Well, those gain acceleration very quickly. Commence mission. Eradicate the enemy fleet and enemy arms fort. Special edition normal detected. It's equipped with a frontal shield. Don't waste ordnance on that shield. Maneuver behind it and strike the rear hull. Targets remaining. Arms Fort Gigabase identified. It may be a relic, but it's still an arms fort. Don't underestimate it. Uh, yes it does. Singer, you have to finish the order matches to get ending 3. To get ending 3, you have to finish them. Mission. Retake Cradle 2-1 and eliminate the Liliana insurgents. They're extremists, but they can only deploy normals. No match for a next. You should have little problem taking them out. Yes, yes it does. To, yeah, Singer, to get SS, you have to... You have to S rank everything, yes. You at you can't get ending three without doing the order matches, and you have to S rank everything to get SS. It 
it's still this thing though. It still isn't sorry, isn't a hundred percent run because there uh, because there's FRS memory and things you haven't gotten. Three left. Three left. Two left. Because you get parts and shit for beating them. Mission complete. Well, that's it. You've passed. Nothing more to say. Commence mission. Every day, Destroy you guys can probably hear that. But every day with, with my goddamn family, man. Use the VOB to close in on Gigabase. Watch out for long range fire. Yes, but, yeah, but it still is not 100% because beating the entire thing gives you stuff. The point is 100%ing the game if you're still missing stuff. Honestly, I'm not sure. I don't know if the order matches are tied in. I honestly cannot tell you. VOB nearly depleted. Prepare for normal battle maneuvers. VOB depleted. Purging. Singer. Bazooka is definitely growing on me. Yeah, the spread bazooka in like in like all of the other games isn't good, but it's surprisingly effective in this one. I still don't want to do the red bread assault, so I'm not going to.
Honestly, yeah, those helicopters here are going like more than a thousand kilometers an hour. If you're really thinking about it. VOB nearly depleted. Prepare for normal battle maneuvers. Well, hold on. We may we may not be sure. VOB depleted. Purging. Destroy all remaining enemy units. Hang in there. Targets destroyed. Mission complete. Let's go blow up, Mother Will. Commence mission. Destroy the BFF arms fort, Spirit of Mother Will. First, the VOB will let you quickly close in on the target. This is real high speed combat. You'll need 100% focus. Progress. In any case, the mission plan is all we've got now. Confirmed. Mother... Yeah, we did the GA transport route last time, so let's do this one this time. Commence mission. Eliminate all Brokeon energy cannons. All we need is the Spectre Duke anyway. Honestly, I want to make a make a lightweight with this these spread bazookas. Need some really Mission fat complete. arms though. Solo legs and fat arms.
I believe this will give me no count again. Commence mission. Escort the Titan to the edge of the combat zone. The Titan is getting underway. I do enjoy how the how the escort quests in Armor Core for Answer don't actually involve escorting, and it's just running ahead and killing everything in time. Yeah, you get a second spread I would have to use more FRS memory to fit it. Oh, perfect. I have just enough. Well, these happen to be great energy weapon arms. It's not what I need them for. mission. Eradicate the enemy next. Namely, no count and another unidentified four-legged craft. We don't know what tactics they'll use. Exercise caution. I thought can't use two of them at once properly. At least not with this setup, but we can use Commence mission. Eradicate one and the one. enemy next. Namely no count and another unidentified four-legged craft. We don't know what tactics they'll use. Exercise caution. Where's my support? This isn't what we discussed.
transmission. Destroy the unidentified next. Don't be intimidated. He may be a bit skilled, but he's just another Lynx like yourself. Whose neon is it this time? Perfect time. I was getting tired of arms force. Doomed to obscure. Honestly, I think the, I think that just the water and the overall map for uh, our Terrier Car Pulse is what also makes it an issue. Destroy all enemy arms fort units. The virtual defense line is displayed on your radar. Enemy units crossing that line will have a firing solution on the transports. That equals mission failure for us. We don't want that to happen, do we? Hold the line. Let's go kill White Glim. This is the operator of White Glint. You are trespassing in line arc territory. Pull back immediately, or we will respond with lethal force. <laughs> so it's Fiona and Jarnafelt. What right have you spared? You were brought down in it. Already phased it. Fantastic. Got like eight more to do, and then we can unlock the mission we need, and then might as well finish finish the campaign. This is just an easy one, so let's get this out of the way. Commence mission. The target is a good distance above your. It'll save us a slow one Start of having climbing. to do the eighth fleet. You know what you're doing. What it will mean, don't you? Confirm. All targets Still not sure, like, I get plot wise why this is a mission. But there has to be a better way than putting a fake canyon so the first time you run around like a chicken with your with your head cut off for half an hour. And then after every other time it's like a 30 second mission. Commence mission. Eliminate the pair of enemy nexts. This fog is thick. They've also deployed these. Whoa! 
Red Run is the joke. Honestly, I think what's the joke is... I don't know what they did to these spread bazookas in this game. But holy crap, these spread bazookas. Information is spotty. Proceed with caution. I mean, Red, I think Red Rum is like one of the three enemy mechs that actually has like... In, that actually uses like an actual viable build. What? Segments are splitting off. I believe we just have to do Silent Avalanche well after this. To defeat that monster. Yep, just do Silent Avalanche. Kill uh, Asterism, who I believe this build will... Also, pretty quickly. Destroy the silent avalanche force defending sphere. Way past the actual, like, listed firing range. They were just paper tigers. No match for you. Let's go kill Asterism. Then we have Gotterin, big boxes in the end. All defensive placements destroyed. They didn't last 20 seconds out there. Noblesse oblige, targeting the blue irregular. Take out those nexts. Two of them. Well, we warned them already. Looks like they didn't take us seriously. She's like also one of the only people who actually has a decent AI. Like if they put her AI onto like every single other enemy next, they would actually be good. I gave you everything I had. And her build really isn't. Enemy next destroyed. Guess that's it. They've thrown first class. This is kind of the funny part.
Let's go kill Gotcharin. Commence mission. Destroy the Ehrenberg anti-satellite batteries and eliminate any enemy nexts. Be on your guard for enemy nexts. What do you mean by special about him? So I guess he has really shitty turning. You mean you mean that guy there, the guy with the uh, with the uh, the assault cannon, right? I mean, I guess the only thing is his assault armor is a cannon, and on and with those shoulders on 1.0, it is definitely an actual threat. I'm not sure because it shows all of them on the loading screens. I'm not sure which one you mean. Uh, I will pull them up in a second. I'm pretty sure I know who you mean, though. Again, give me a second. I'll go. I'll I'll go pull it up. Uh, do uh do you sorry, do you mean this guy? Okay, so, okay, so this sphere on the back, that is, okay, so that is just, sorry, okay, so that is just the overboost. Okay, so, uh, okay, so the sphere spins, and then the overboost is basically a Kojima green color, opposed to a regular blue color. As for him, especially, these balls here actually generate primal armor, and this giant ring flips forward, so the, uh, Okay, so the assault armor explosion is now a giant directed cannon, like a, uh, basically like a giant, uh, 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 old Dios cannon. The issue being that the orb on his back has nothing to do with it, it's actually the ring, but it's very funny. I mean, and so, on regulation, uh, 1.0, he can probably fire it, like, once every four or five seconds? But on 1.4, because Primal Armor was way too strong, they nerfed it so it's going to be like once every 15 seconds now. And when it's Don't down, mission. you take a you shit ton Orca of damage. Brigade. This is Windy Fanchon and Ryder Palash here. So it's really it's just just like a Gambit no finisher. Which, it still does that well, well in PvP. I can't move. There we go, he's dead. I should not have gotten that that close to frickin' Veo with the speed. I'm way too slow to get close to Veo. That's one massive gravestone. They shouldn't have any complaints. Well, one more mission left, and then we're basically we're basically done for today. Uh, uh, tomorrow I'll come on, and I'll S rank everything on normal, and S rank everything on hard, all while using fatties. Go finish off Windy. You know, not f killing Windy. Wrong one. Just up ahead. Split Moon and uh, in your dead. Thermidor. Thank you. I didn't realize you. I guess you are content to rot with the rest of them. Hey, 
strenuous. Uh, lag a bit? No. Boom. Dead. Uh, st uh, st uh, st uh, hey there. Also, very bad news. I, I am literally just finishing. This is the last level I was doing. But though I'll probably be s be streaming either uh, tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow night to basically S rank everything. I've been going through using some uh, using heavyweights, which I don't normally use, and I'm honestly becoming a fan of it. Like I figured out a few tricks for them that are very very nice. Like just to like just to show you one more fight before I go. Like this is just good. It's taking longer than I was hoping for, actually. Like, I, I've i killed a few people in, like, good, like, five, six seconds. It's fantastic. Well, anywho, night, guys. Uh, let's...